G where, where am I? The pain. I can't see. I uh, bother. What? <laughs> now come out of your shell and face me as yourself, Kualna. I know you're here somewhere. To Donovan, is that you? I'm here for you, Father. Hold on. You'll make it. You'll pull through. Save your strength. Clichés cannot save me now, my son. But we all know this is where I meet my end. Whoever makes it out of a situation like this, I'm bleeding all over this rug. You know. Good. Listen, Donovan. I know you never wanted to be called prince, or even to have your royal status known, because you felt you should be on the same level as other guards, soldiers, knights, with your own renowned base and your own merits, rather than your royal blood, like the stuff you've been standing in right now. But unfortunately, we have no choice anymore. You must take up the. My strength fades. You know what I'm trying to. <sighs> Father, no! Donovan, Elowin said. The king. He's dead. Damn you, Kolna! That wasn't necessary! Where are you? So the monarch of Gonsar Falls. A tremendous pity. Do you know what will come of this? He was a keystone, you know. What are you doing here? Ugh, we have no time to deal with you right now, old man. Be gone. We are in the middle of something. So I am unwanted? I am saddened. I feel rejected. You're the son of the king, correct? Donovan, was it? I'm greatly sorry for your loss, but I wish to talk to you about how you feel feel about his passing. How do I feel? How do I feel? How do you think I feel? Loss. Anger. Son. We are the ones who killed him. He died in my arms. I I have responsibility dumped on me and I don't know what to do. I fear the future of Gonzor. I ask because I know the feelings. You didn't think when you killed Morik, did you, Rojo? You didn't think at all. You killed one of our mutual feelings. Friends, but worse. You dislodged the keystones of the very structure of our civilization. Do you have any idea how much this, how much his death hurt us, his friends, or how much his loss cost Ashnar? W what? Kwana? I... Oh, really, Rojo? Your mind must be worse than I thought. I didn't think you'd go so long without realizing who I am. So much for having a shared history. But you can't take back that remark without my acting talents. But the king... Do you... Not even remember the power we wield, Rojo? I think you've been on this piss little rock ball for too long, but I think you've also failed to realize that you're becoming what you accuse of us. You probably think we've been not watching you bugger around on this slow pace for comfortable little world with this alternate little life of yours, but ha, ha! We've been watching you for some years now, tracking you, watching what you do. I honestly was expecting you to have made more progress than this in your childish little rebellion, but this has gone long enough. You forget what happened to Morik. He came here to destroy me, and look what happened. Do you want to join him? Hmm? Ugh, oh, that's just... Gah. I hate what you become, Rojo. I hate what we've become. I know that. But you're so self-righteous! I can't even look in a mirror and see what happened to yourself. You think you were magically immune to the Violet Crystal? Ha! You think we don't know what it does? Anyway, how could I forget about Morik? He was one of my oldest friends, and yours too. But that didn't stop you from sealing his soul. And you used to call him evil. I'm sickened by your hypocrisy. Look, I did what I had to stand you. I did what I had. I, I don't want to stand here while you insult me with these baseless lies. Clearly, your mind is too addled to realize that you're talking nonsense. You've gone insane. Let's just battle and be done with it. Get you out of my way. Boho, you're not the right here. I might be surprised to know that I'm not here to kill you. I'm here on goodwill, actually. I'm here to try to convince you. You make you, you make to see some reason. You make to you to make you aware of what you are doing, and to make you accept that you become so. Then you can channel it properly. We, that is myself and the rest of the council, have realized for a long time now that what the violet crystal does, we knew it as soon as you did, but we reacted more maturely about it. We realized that we could use its power to further our civilization, but you misinterpreted our goals. Yes, I'll be the first to admit that most of us didn't exactly react in a mature and rational manner to your own irrationality, and we have did indeed want you dead, or the others did at least, Morik especially. I, I know he'd have loved to kill you. It seemed that Crystal exaggerates our strongest traits while subduing our softer ones. I was even sent here to kill you, but I'm not going to do that, unlike Morik. I'm not going to betray our council. I'm not going to betray our console for my own good personal gain either, but I'm hoping to become a better solution than mindless bloodshed. If you wanted to prevent mindless bloodshed, then what was the need of killing the hu this human king? I did not kill the king. 
I possessed him, yes, and put that on silly act to run you on wild goose chase. But I did it for a reason. I didn't intend for him to die, and I'm sorry that happened. But they are only humans. It's not like this place matters or anything. I've watched you interact with them on this world, these humans. Pretending that you care about them, just to save your own skin. You never mentioned how you used to be one of... Excuse me. You used to be with them back on Ashtar, since you have to rely on them now. But alas, that this is not the time or place for that, amusingly embarrassing as it may be for you. Anyway, as I said, we've been watching you for a while. Since you ruthlessly slaughtered our friends, our necromancer, chaos has broken out on Ashnar. As you know, Morik, as you know, Morik never trained on Apprentice to take over on his, over his position. None of us did, though some of us were working on it now. So with his fail, fall, he left a hole. The undead army that used to be our military force could no longer be as large as it once was. So we've been having to swell the ranks with live Droma and even a few Anukini. And they've not been happy about that, as you can imagine. Rioting and sewage, and all over the army, and overall, the army is weaker. Things aren't too bad at the moment, all things considered. But it could get a lot worse as, as it more if all, well worse and more of us is lost. Your own absence is terrible for the morale and health of our citizens over the world, you know. I don't suppose you consider anything like this when you stormed off in a fit of emotion. So, as I became more and more distressingly aware, much of your mind has gone towards chaos and ruin and senality and such, I decided to try and teach you a lesson. I knew you'd not listen to me, but hope that the disguise here, as Clivus, I could teach you about the efforts of affecting, removing keystones from their place. Hopefully so, you stop what you're doing to us. God knows you've been acting like a child, so I might as well talk down to you as one trying to teach you the basics. I sent you to find the crystals because they are great, significant keystones, and I wanted to show you what happens when they're removed. All the repercussions. You saw what happened to the temples and their keystones are removed, and the same happens in any system. Ashnar will die without its government. It already is doing. Now that you've seen for yourself what happens when the keystone is removed, I summoned you back here. I don't have forever to waste away here like you like you seem to act as if you do. Finance is a sensible option. If you don't agree on our new methods with the Violet Crystal, then by all means, going back, come back, and we'll debate about it. Weigh the pros and cons. We'll go to the majority vote, like old times. Then whatever is chosen... We will have to deal with it and hope it uses whatever lofty moral way you think is right. Running off is just causing problems. I want you to return with to with me, Rojo. It won't be easy at first, but I think over time we can get back to what we once were and start using the Violet Crystal to shape a better tomorrow for the Anukni. What are you? What are you? That stupid? I won't fall for that trick. I'm not a child. You'd sure to lure me back and then kill me to get me out of your way. No, Rojo. Have you listened to what I said? We don't all solve our problems with mindless violence, removing obstacles from our path. We don't all see things as black and white as you do. I am being honest and serious here, and I want to make things right. Although you've been really grinding my gears lately, I forgot how the violet crystals messes with your mind. You are still my friend, Rojo. And well, I love you, like I love Morik. I don't want you to lose. I don't want to lose another friend. Sorry, Kwana. But your silver tongue won't save you this time. I'm not falling for it. I will continue my resistance against you, and I will destroy you and the rest of my former chums if I have to. You are evil. Can't you see this? It's easy for you in your position to lie and say you're not, and to speak of using the body crystals as to stop your evil, but, but damn it, you're just evil. And I just need to stop you. I'll fight you if I have to. With you joining Morik, I will be so much closer to returning Astron to light. Well, I see that this is hopeless. You're further gone than I was hoping, but I tried. I won't argue with you anymore, Rojo. I'm going. I'll form an astral tunnel. If you want to follow me, then follow me. I hope you do. Otherwise, I'll check up on you again in a while, and I'll try some other means to get you to come back. Be glad I'm pulling, putting so much effort into this. You don't want to get Gasper after you, believe me. So come, Rojo, old friend. Follow me. Rojo, what's going on? I don't. I'm going after him. I won't let him get away and report what he found back and after them. They are evil! Um, am I the only one who has no idea what just happened? I am as close to facts as you are. I think they're Anukini and they made the Astral Tunnel to diversify the fake plane into the home world in Ashnar. And, I mean, I don't have Rock's bottom of an idea. No, no. <clears throat> oh, they're just demons. I can jump to two. We just walk a while and sort of thumbs up. Who's up for a game of Twister? Ooh, me, me. My father is lying dead on the floor here. Well, I guess he's gonna have to sizzle one out then. Um, I never knew you were royalty. Sigh. 
be that as it may, Mardek continues his journey. So low, I'm going so low, I'm going so low, I'm going so low. I'll see you guys next time. Woo!